Hey Exiles, today I'm going to show you how to craft a 7 link fire trap helmet. The process is relatively complex, but it's worth it for the huge power upgrade and convenience upgrade. Step 1. First, you need to get two helmets. One needs to be an either Elder or Shaper influenced Archdemon crown, and one needs to be any other item level 82 helmet with the other influence. You can save a little bit of money sometimes by buying an Archdemon Crown with no influence, using an Exalted Orb of an influence, and then harvest flipping the influence to what you want. Current League, that saves you about 3 Divine on the base. Do remember, it has to be item level 82 or higher. Step 2. Now it's time to spam Alteration Orbs on both helmets. You're spamming for level 20 trap end mind support on the shaper helmet. It's very rare and takes about 300 clicks on average. And you're spamming for level 20 burning damage support on the elder helmet. It's less rare, takes about 100 clicks on average. Once you have your desired support mod, you need to use a regal orb and make the item rare. This is where it gets interesting. If you got lucky, you'll have two of the Elder or of the Shaper mods, including the mod you alt spammed, on your item. If you did that, you can skip past the next section. If not, continue on as normal. If you didn't get the paired mods on both helmets, then you need to craft suffixes cannot be changed. Once you have that on the helmet, you need to go to the Harvest Bench and reforge Influence. This costs 5,000 Primal Life Force, which is blue, and one Sacred Life Force. This is not reforging the Influence type of an item, which only costs 1,000. Be very careful which one you click on. This will force a second Influence mod onto your helmet without removing your crafted one. This is where it can get expensive. Once both helmets have two influence mods, it's time to gamble. You need to get two orbs of dominance and then use them on each helmet. What this does is it takes one of those influence mods at random and deletes it in order to power the next one up to one tier higher, which means you are trying to get that level 20 trap and mine or level 20 burning to level 25 and hope the other mod gets deleted it's just a 50 50 gamble you can't influence it in any way cross your fingers it took me one try to upgrade my burning damage it took me three tries to upgrade my trap and mine support if you fail and the helmet mod that is just there to get eaten is the one that gets ranked up and it deletes your other one, that helmet has to start all the way over from step one. Once you have level 25 trap and mind support and level 25 burning damage support, you use an orb of awakening. Orb of awakening will delete one helmet and then pull whatever influence mod it has and put it on another helmet without re-rolling the influence mods on the other helmet. Be very careful which one you click. The f when you, you right-click the Orb of Awakening, then you left-click the helmet you want to delete, which is the not Archdemon Crown. And then the last click you do is you click on the Archdemon Crown. That will delete the original helmet and keep just the Archdemon Crown. Don't do it backwards, or you will be very mad at yourself. Once done, this will give you a item level 82 plus Archdemon Crown with level 25 Trap and Mind support, level 25 Burning Damage support, and probably a third suffix. If it's good, that's ideal. If it's not good, I mean, 
depending on how expensive you want to be, you can recraft, but it doesn't really matter at this stage of uh, expense. But you do need all three of your suffixes full. If your suffixes aren't full, benchcraft any prefix and then just exalted orb until your suffix fills up, then remove that benchcraft and proceed to the next stage. This is the easy and mildly fun stage. You're gonna to go to your menagerie. You're going to pull out some exalted orbs and some scouring orbs. Go to the menagerie pit, type in matron, and you're looking for wild bristle matron. She will apply a random metamod. However, on an item with only open prefixes and no open suffixes, which this now is, she can only craft suffixes cannot be changed. Benchcraft, that costs two divine. Wild Bristle Matrons, most league, are between half a div and 0.7 div. This will save you a lot of currency. So, Bristle craft that onto your helmet, and then Exalted Orb twice. And if, if you don't exalt, Concentrated effect, level 20, scour and do it again, over and over and over and over, until eventually you get level 20 concentrated effect, and hopefully one more good prefix. Your final step is either to benchcraft plus one to AOE gems, or if you want to risk the whole thing, suffixes cannot be changed one more time, and then veiled orb, and try to unveil plus two AOE without destroying plus 20 concentrated effect. If you do eat concentrated effect, you have to redo the menagerie stage over again. That's it. You now have a 7.5 link fire trap helmet. Enjoy. They sell for between 80 and 120 divine most leagues, and it costs between 20 and 60 to craft.